So this is the process you can follow to be able to take a paper copy of maybe a worksheet that you have or a number of worksheets and scan them to be able to create uh, PDFs or Adobe PDF files that you can then use to be able to pull up on the computer or pull up on the Promethean board and possibly be able to uh, copy and paste text out of them to utilize for other purposes like creating a flip chart or um, copying and pasting into a text reader or any number other of other uses. So the first thing you need to do is get to a computer that's attached to a scanner um, and in Tech Mod 11 schools the program that you'll have available to you is Adobe Professional to be able to scan the PDF. The other thing that you'll want to do is before you get started is if you have a uh, paper copies double-sided you want to run them through the copier um, to get them to single-sided that would work best as most most of the uh, scanners that we have are single-sided or if they're double-sided they don't always work the way they they're uh, we intend them to so get it to uh, single-sided and then you'll want to open up Adobe which will be under applications and then you'll click on Adobe CS and Adobe Acrobat Pro and the first time you open it, it may tell you that you need to open one of the other applications first. And so you can just click on Dreamweaver or Fireworks and open it up and then close it. But And then open up Adobe Acrobat Pro. But you may not need to do that the first time because someone may have already opened it. So I click on Adobe Acrobat Pro. And I'm going to create a PDF. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my my handouts and the example that I'm going to show you now is the full process by which I'm going to just do 10 pages so you'll get a sense of how long it'll be for you to do uh, let's say you have uh, 50 pages of of uh, handouts you want to get into a PDF um, so I'm going to put that on the on the scanner on the multi-page scanner and then I'll click create and I'm going to choose PDF from scanner and I'll choose black and white document and then it's going to begin to scan and it'll take a little bit for the scanner to initialize if you run into problems you might want to check that the scanner is in fact connected to the computer um, and that it's turned on of course so I'm gonna let the time run here just so you can see the amount of time that it takes to run through 10 pages and this dialog box will come up and you know don't worry if it seems like it's not uh, not working you may not see Adobe Acrobat Pro the full dialog box um, but it'll it'll keep scanning And by default, Adobe Professional should do uh, a thing called OCR or opt optical character recognition as it scans. And what's that? What that will do is it will hopefully, if your page isn't turned sideways, you you're really important that the what you're trying to scan everything's aligned um, correctly and not turned tilted sideways. Um, as it's scanning it, it's recognizing some of the text so that one, it'll be able to be uh, highlighted so you can copy and paste it into something else and two that it'll try to recognize the orientation of the page and we'll see how that does it so that if you have certain things in landscape and portrait and that varies from page to page that you're scanning it should reorient it so that it uh, it displays properly Now my pages have all gone through the scanner, but there needs to be, there's a couple different things that 
need to go on after the physical scanning has happened and I may need to click on uh, or you can minimize this uh, Adobe CS box here and you'll see that it has something that it asked me for it says scan is complete scan more pages or scan reverse sides and you could if you wanted to try to do double sided you could then flip it over and do scan reverse sides and it'll try to insert those alternately into the uh, into the pages and you can do that as well um, it may I, I think it may be easier if you just uh, take a double sided copy and run it through the copying machine provided the the quality of your um, original is adequate that you don't lose too much when you copy it so my scan is complete because I did get it to single sided and as it pull up, pulls up you'll see that first screen but you'll see down here it says generating output uh, pro reprocessing page, it's uh, orienting the page. So even though you your scan has been gone through the, the scanner, it's still doing some work. The program is doing some work to recognize the text, figure out which way it should be turned, and hopefully um, in just a moment you'll see up at the top that it is uh, going through the pages. We're at page 9 of 10. And once this box down at the bottom here stops working, you'll see now um, that over on the thumbnails it did recognize my text it did orient the pages correctly because I had a pretty clean scan and it wasn't t tilted sideways you'll also notice that now I can highlight text in in the Adobe PDF right click and choose copy and that way it would allow me to paste that text into another um, another document and also if there when you see images it may create this as an image it may not so sometimes if there's images in the document it'll recognize that as an image so that you can right click on it as well and copy and paste but you'll see that most of my text here has been recognized and I can copy and paste it um, once you copy and paste it you want to make sure that it in fact is recognizing it uh, accurately so just because it looks okay here you may notice when you copy and paste it into let's say a word document or a PowerPoint um, it may not have all have recognized each one of these words absolutely correctly so you'll need to uh, check that after you paste it so obviously the next thing I definitely want to do is I want to save this so I'll do file and I'll do save as and I, this is where I could save it anywhere on my school network um, in the a USB drive or wherever I want to go back to later so just make sure you give it a title that makes sense to you and this would be like pages 1 through 10 from uh, um, uh, Algebra with Pizzazz and then I can pull that up and I would suggest that you do it in uh, chunks so that you can pull it up and use it at a later later point for instance uh, 10 pages at a time